Hey, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Feliz año. Welcome to Agent Spotlight. Uh, we are now, we made it to 2022. Uh, this is our first show of the year. I just want to welcome you guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's. Uh, just a little bit of what the show all entails is, you know, it's agents that are really making it happen in the Arizona market. Agents that are, you know, that really do care and obviously go above and beyond. And we have a special, special treat for you today. Uh, with that in mind, my name is Carlos Estrada. Welcome to Agent Spotlight. Happy 2022. Hey everyone, my name is Abel Badillo with Drake's title. Like Carlos said, we have a really, really great show for you guys. And we're going to kick off the year with an even better show um, because we have a very, very special agent that not only does real estate, but does a lot for the community. And he's going to tell us a little bit about a campaign that he's running. So without saying any more, I'd like to introduce everybody to Angel and Sinas with Next Gen Real Estate. How are you, Angel? I'm good. Happy to be here with you guys. Um, Angel, thank you very much for pretty much being here, my man. I know that uh, uh, Abel already knows you, you know, personally. You know, I guess that you guys are close friends, but uh, I don't. So it's going to be a pleasure to ask a lot, a lot of questions because I'm going to get to know you, you know, just like everybody else here is uh, the idea, Angel, of this show is that, it, you know, uh, customers, clients, however, you know, a real estate world calls them. Uh, they don't get the opportunity usually, right, to interview their agents and to interview the person who they're dealing, you know what I mean? Gonna make a big uh, life changing decisions with, uh, but they do have this show. So, you know, today people are looking today and saying, hey, you know what? That That's awesome that Angel does X, Y, Z, you know, and I really identify with that. So I'd like to, uh, you know, reach out to him. And uh, I know we usually ask this question towards, you know, the, the <laughs> before the, the, the commercial, but Angel, I'd like for you to just kind of introduce yourself, uh, you know what I mean? And, you know, just give them uh, uh, your phone number, your email, whichever way it is best to get a hold of you. Yeah, absolutely. I can be contacted directly uh, through my cell phone at 480-678-0024 mm -hmm. or through my email, which is a Encinas Realty mm -hmm. at gmail.com would be the best point to contact so, Social media? Social media. You can find me at Angel Encinas mm -hmm. um, on Instagram and then Facebook, just Angel Encinas. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. There you are. My man, uh, I, one question that we do ask most the majority of our, our, our guests is, you know, my man, where were you, where are you from? Where were you born? You know, what's your background? Where, where do you come from? Yeah, absolutely. So I was born in San Diego, California. Oh, actually. nice. Yeah. yeah. So my family um, is originally all from Chandler. And for some reason, my family moved out there for a year just yeah. to change things up. Yeah. And I happened to be born there. And we came back a year later. So I only spent a short period of time in my life there and then grew up in the heart of downtown Chandler my entire life. So That's been in Chandler in the East Valley for my entire life. Lived there, worked there, went to school there, everything. Oh, nice. I was about to say, man, why in the world would you ever change San Diego? Right, right. <laughs> I know Chandler exactly. is a beautiful town, but... You know, it doesn't, doesn't line up, doesn't measure up to San Diego. Oh, of course. No, I love San Diego. I still go back every summer uh, and stuff. So. Yeah, amazing, amazing. So, uh, oh, so, <laughs> <laughs> I, th I thought you started something, so I was like, uh. No, my follow-up question to that is, what's your background in? What are you doing now? You know, I know that you're involved in a lot of different things, so we just want to kind of see where you come from and, you know, on a professional level and where you're going headed yeah, to next. Definitely professional wise, um, you know, all through college and stuff, I went to Arizona State University. I was in the financial Works and the hospitality up. industry. Forkum? Uh, yes, <laughs> let's go. Uh, so I was working in banking, hospitality through that time. And then um, I found myself working with my family's business. We do immigration consulting. Okay. So we do all the advisement and document preparation to help people legalize here in the United States. That's anything from DACA, from residency renewal, citizenship, perdones, we do it all at my nice. family's office. Um, so I've been doing that for about the last five, six years uh, from there. And then I jumped into real estate, which was always a goal of mine about, it's going to be my fourth year now into real estate. Yeah, um, that's, that's exciting. Yeah, super excited. So, and you're still in it. There's and I'm still a, in And it. you're doing well because there's a lot of agents that jump into real estate and they give up after a year. Yeah, it was it, it was always a goal of mine to get my license and and to do this. And so I found myself trying to do it part time just to, you know, have something extra additional service for my clients. Right. And then it just turned into, you know, client after client and just started snowballing and stuff. So it's been kept right. me kept me pretty busy over the years. So I love it. I enjoy it. And what is what are you doing next after that? I know you're about to add yeah so i'm about to add hey, to my he, he, he was like extra <laughs> excited to say hey this is what we're doing next he already knows but 
I mean, I, I, my personally, I mean, you told me a little bit before we started the show, you know, and I, and I am super excited, obviously, to start asking those questions, just because, I mean, we don't get a lot of people that actually have uh, that additional type of service, because that's what it is, it's service. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, so answer Abel's question, you know what I mean? Yeah. What are you doing next? And, uh, you know, uh, obviously, it, it sounds like it's going to be the focus of 2022. Correct, yes. Uh, so I am very excited. Um, Abel does know about this, because he's been part of uh, working on this campaign with me and stuff. But from being able to help people with immigration and help people find their forever homes and stuff, it was just so rewarding to be able to help and assist people in these different types of ways that I wanted to help people even more. Okay. And so I decided I wanted to run for city council in my hometown of Chandler, Arizona. Oh, nice. So um, I got a good team together, been pondering this for about a good two years okay. and stuff. So it's not something that I just picked out of a hat and stuff. It's <laughs> something that I've been well thought, thought out. And so I actually did my official campaign launch uh, last month on November 20th. Okay. We did a big collaboration with State 48. Um, and so now this coming, our election is August 2022. So mm -hmm. I'm about eight months away. So it's going to be a lot of hard work, a lot of canvassing, a lot of meeting, getting into the community even more. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to, you know, talk about those issues, get those signatures, get those votes and okay. make sure that there's some representation in my community of Chandler. Nice. That's beautiful, man. And you know what I mean? And when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, politics and, you know, and running for all that, I, I, I am by all means not the most, you know, uh, educated person, you know, and I know a lot of listeners that are listening today are like, Hey, you know what? I keep seeing, you know, those signs, I vote for it, Mr. Encinas or vote for Yada yada, you know, but what does that mean for our, the, our community? You said, what does that mean for the community? What type of represent, what can they expect from that? Yeah, absolutely. So one of my main goals for running for city council is to bring representation. And I want to do that in a few different ways, especially for Chandler. Mm -hmm. As someone who has grown up in the heart of downtown Chandler my entire life, in the home downtown area, yeah. I want to make sure that their needs um, and wants are reflected from that community right. onto our city council. Right. So as someone who's lived there their entire lives, as someone who is part of the LGBT community, yeah. as someone who's part of the Latino community, yeah. and as a millennial bringing that new era, this new generation onto council, I yep. believe would be a great collaboration with the, already the experience that's already on council. The, so the, overall, wanting to bring some great representation to our city. Definitely, definitely, my man. Uh, when uh, obviously uh, you know you, you launch your you launch your campaign, you're gonna be out there. You know what I mean? I'm assuming walking the neighborhoods. Uh, how do, what does that mean? How can oh, yeah. somebody find you? Walking neighborhoods, really? Yes, it's gonna be a lot of door knocking. We're a grassroots campaign and stuff, so I'm gonna be knocking on door after door after door in yeah. Chandler. So I have a lot of high numbers that I need to hit to meet people. Um, over the past couple months, I have been collecting signatures because to get on the official ballot, I yeah. need at least a thousand signatures oh. from uh, registered Chandler voters. So in the past couple months, I've been attending events, going to a lot of um, like Chandler downtown area things, yeah. a lot of different uh, festivals and events that I've been partaking yep. and just getting signatures and meeting people from there. But now um, this coming month, we are going to be canvassing and heading out into the neighborhoods. Th that is that is amazing. I, I, I personally think that, that, that that's amazing just uh, just because obviously the, the, the presence, uh, how, how big is our, I mean, and, and I don't know, and I don't know if you know the answer to this, you know, how, how big is, is the Hispanic community in Chandler? Are they, are they, are they prominently, because I, 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 me and my experience in years past, I, I was always been mainly, you know what I mean? I guess Anglo or, you know, mm. and other races. As a, is it a big community that we have in it Chandler? It actually is in Chandler. Um, from the last census, if I haven't got the recent updated census numbers, yeah. but it was about 23, 26% of Chandler oh, is Latino. really? So we yeah, we can a only assume that community. it's grown since then. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm waiting for the new official numbers to be coming out for the new census that came out. I yeah. mean, um, kind of compare and see how much we've grown there. But there is a big Latino community. And how many Latinos are on on the city council currently? At this moment, there is none. So moment. we're oh being my underrepresented. So you would be the first city council person, uh, you know, that's a Latino, you know, descent in. The, so help us out here. <laughs> I wouldn't technically be the first. There has been some prior council members before, uh -huh. uh, but at the moment. Yeah. Right. Well, I, that, that's what I meant. You know, yeah. I, I meant in office at the time. Yes, Is yes. anybody running with you um, that you know of? That I know of. Against you. Against me. Yeah. Against you. I'm sorry. There are a few other candidates that are running right now. I believe there's a total of five of us um, yep. that are running at the moment. Yeah. That's a, well. That, that's amazing. You know what I mean. Here it is. I, I thought we were interviewing just you know, just another real estate agent. <laughs> no, just another top top uh, top producer. You know, somebody that really makes it happen in the market. Uh, Angel, we were we're gonna go in a quick commercial here shortly, but I would like for them to obviously get a hold of you. You know what I mean. 
phone number again. And, and the reason why I keep saying, hey, throw your phone number, tell them why, because, hey, if you live in Chandler and, you know, you'd like to support them and you want to know how to support them, you know, this would be the way. Just reach out to him. I'm sure he can point you out the right direction. Uh, how yeah. can they get a hold of you? Amanda? Absolutely. Again, directly, you guys can text me, call me at 480-678-0024. You can email me at aencinasrealty at gmail.com or find me on Facebook, Instagram at Angel Encinas or Angel Encinas. And you can probably find my campaign sites there as well, Angel for Chandler. A Angel for Chandler? Yes. All right. Uh, so it's, you're going to have one of those things that you drive by and they're, <laughs> they're in every corner? Yep. There's going to be <laughs> signs coming up <laughs> later this year, but right now we just have all of our campaign gear well, going and that's not cheap either, right? Oh no, no it's not. Who funds that? You, you get you get backing of people. Oh. <laughs> His friends. <laughs> Abel. Abel has oh, been a great. Man, no, that's not gonna, gonna, uh, <laughs> it's not gonna go long, man. So we're gonna need to find more sponsors. No, we've had um, great uh, campaign launch events. I've had fundraisers and stuff right now. Oh, so no. my goal is um, about thirty thousand dollars for my campaign. Yeah. And we are uh, we've done some good fundraising at the moment. So we're selling tamales, burritos. Oh, the, the that's taquisa. actually not a bad idea. The pizza is coming up soon. <laughs> We're planning that for March. We're going to bring in a banda and everything. So we're going to have a big... That's man, my kind count, of party. Count me How in. much are tickets? <laughs> we're going to see how much the tickets are going to be. We're going to be... In, uh, we're planning to bring in a big band um, uh -huh. into Chandler and stuff. And make it kind of like a concert fundraiser type of thing to make sure the Latino community is involved right in the heart of downtown Chandler. Oh, so my God. It's going to be in the plans. And okay. before we go on break, what's your slogan? Oh, my slogan is uh, Chandler Grown and Growing Chandler. Oh, there you Perfect. go. Perfect. Vote, vote for uh, Angel. Well, for Angel, yes. <laughs> we'll be right back. Let's go to a quick commercial. And when we come back, we're going to talk a more, little bit more real estate, you know, how he can help you. Obviously, years in the business and all the, all the good stuff that you are, you know, wanting to know about Angel. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Penny Esparza with Driggs Titles Tempe Office. I've been doing escrow for a little over 20 years and I've been with Driggs Title for about five years. I um, love being part of the escrow process. I'm a mom and a wife and being part of helping make families dreams come true is so amazing. So I'm really blessed to have this job and be part of the process. So just keep tuning in to Agent Spotlight. And we're back, everyone. We're here with Angel and Sinas with Next Gen Real Estate. You know, does a lot for the community, does a lot for his clients. Uh, so, Angel, before we get into the nitty gritty about real estate and how you can help everybody, uh, we're gonna play a few games. So, the first one that we're gonna play is Truth or Dare. Ooh. And I'm gonna let Carlos pick this time because I always. <laughs> you, I always what? I always decide. You always did, you're gonna give me okay, but I guess the question is. What, what do you what do you want to what do you want to pick? Is it a truth or a dare that you want to go with? You know what? I'm feeling a little spicy today. I'll go with the dare. All mm. right. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I totally regretted it. Hey, hey. Oh, you know what? And because we we do uh, have a bottle of tequila right in our uh, at our table. Oh, I'm gonna dare you take a shot at tequila with us. Oh, okay. You know I'll, do I mean? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. This is a good tequila. So have, I'm more of a vodka guy, but I'll do it. We the don't have today. cups. Where are the cups at? <laughs> Production, where are the cups at? <laughs> in the meantime, um, let's have him spin our roulette wheel. Yeah, in the meantime, my man, uh, also, we also do, uh, you know, we, we like to thank you or curse you. Uh, at the same time, because there is shots of uh, tequila as well, penalties, but hopefully you don't you end up I mean? with a second shot. But I mean, there's 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 different gifts that we like to give our guests. You know, if you're coming to the show, taking the time, especially you, my man, I mean, you 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 help. I mean, you, you're involved with the family business in regards to you know helping them with uh, you know immigration needs, uh, legal document needs, and you're a real estate agent. And now, man, be jumping into the space of, of po politics because that's what it is. You know, what I mean, you're gonna be extremely busy. You know, but there's a saying that says if you want something to get, to be done, you know, you have to give it to a busy person. <laughs> exactly. So. So, but with no, uh, no more to say, just uh, we would you like to just spin this? Just hit All spin. Right. Oh my oh. god. Oh, I have to take oh, wait. two shots of tequila. <laughs> no. I think it's more gift card. <laughs> no, no, no. no. We'll, we'll have you spin one more time, okay. but a little harder. Okay. There it is. Still. Still another shot of tequila. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll go round for round. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Wow, this is going to be a good show. Oh, I haven't had breakfast yet, so. Yeah. Same. Hmm. So. <laughs> breakfast. We're going to end up at hash after this. <laughs> All right. Well, can somebody please hand me the bottle? Of course, here. We'll let Carlos sit. Um, uh, His pour's lighter as than we mine. Pour the, as we pour the shots, my man, tell us about your real estate career. You know, I mean, where, do, where does the idea of... Bec- I mean, you told us where your idea could be becoming a real estate agent. You were already helping our, your, our community with, uh, you know, legal documents and, and immigration um, uh, stuff. But, you know, how is that going? You know, are you still passionate about it? Or, you know, what, where does the passion for, for that come from? Yeah, so a few years ago exactly like four years ago, I was always interested in becoming a real estate agent. It's always something that I kind of wanted to do, just a goal to have an extra thing to have on the side. And I actually reached out to Abel and um, he kind of gave me some advice, like where to go to school, what to do and stuff like that. And so then I got my license and everything. And then um, my cousin, who's actually was a designated broker for next gen real estate, uh, I joined his team. And from there, um, basically just started my my career in real estate and I loved it. Obviously, you know, you work with your sphere that you have and it just started building from there on. And right. I'm more, I like to work, I like being a buyer's agent. And mm-hmm. stuff. I love taking people out, showing the houses, seeing the properties, getting the feel with clients and right. stuff. So I, I love that part of it. Well, and, and to it, I, I feel like there's more, um, you know, person to person on that, right? Because, you know, when you're selling, I mean, yeah, you know, you, you've already had the, the opportunity to be a homeowner, you know what I mean? And, and there's still type of, uh, I guess uh, sentiment, sentimental, you know, I guess attachment, but I feel like when you're a buyer, like y- just ma- so much more majority of the time, you're kind of like spending, especially in our community, like every single dime you have. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I love it just because I, I take it very personally working with someone and stuff. So I want to make sure that they love the house because it's like a reflection of me, mm-hmm. my work as well. And I just want to be 100% sure that they're in love with the place that we made the right decision together. And stuff. Yeah. so, and I, I think of a lot of the agents that we, that I've, you know, had relationships with. I think one of the really great things that Angel does is that he's not in it for the money. He like genuinely isn't in it. Like he's threatened to cancel contracts because it's not in the best interest of his client. So I've always seen him go above and beyond in that aspect. And he'll call me and he'll say like, hey, this is a scenario like I want to, you know, yeah. have my client pull out because it's not a good deal for them. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. Well, the shots are poured. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, first round here goes to 2022. 2022. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Ah. Well, no lime. No first s- shot of the year. No salt. <laughs> you know. Good morning. Ah. So, <laughs> ooh, Angel, so what is one thing that you do to prepare yourself to be the best agent that you can be? For myself is getting to have those conversations with your actual client. Like, I want to make sure that their needs what's the goal plan not just the house but i want to know what is your plan afterward once we get you into the house what is your future goals are we just doing something more um short term are we doing something long term is this gonna be your forever home so i like to have those conversations with my clients to see where we're going to be in a few years okay that's awesome well and that's good because then you know what kind of property they're looking for and you know what they can and can't give up correct yes angel i have a question for you my man um what is, let, let, let's let, let's just you know pretend that you're not a real estate agent and you're not you know what i mean well educated with the real estate market you know uh what is one question right but you knew what you know you know what i mean now mm-hmm. you know what i mean what is one question you would ask a real estate agent you know what i mean that would really you know that, that would really like if somebody's out there and they're thinking about like hey you know what I want to buy, but what is the one question that you being the educated man that you are that you would ask a real estate agent today? Hmm. I don't know if that, I was very clear with that. The, the tequila kind of just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of messed up for me right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For me right now, if I was to ask a real estate agent and so, uh, about real estate, mm-hmm. I'm more right now in the head game of looking for rental property okay. type of thing uh, yeah. to do some rental income. So I would ask questions as far as like, how much rental income can we get from this area? Okay. Um, what is going to be my net profits from this? Okay. Like, what is going to be the turnaround and stuff like that? Oh, that, right and I think that that's a, that's a very valid answer. You know, a lot of people are looking for that extra for that uh, income producing property, and they're just kind of going based off their knowledge. 
You know, so uh, a good question to ask your real estate agent would be like, hey, what kind of rent can I expect from here? And what kind of uh, appreciation can I expect from this particular market? Because every, every, you know, I guess a mile radius is a different market, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, when it comes Even to half a mile sometimes. when it comes to prices, so definitely. Uh, another question, my man, would be if you were not a realtor, or you know what I mean, and, and you know, or a, <laughs> an immigration, an immigration. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What would you be doing? What would you be doing? Um, what would You'd I be? You'd be a celebrity. Um, You'd have a reality show. <laughs> would be kidding. yeah. On the real world. <laughs> uh, no, what would I be doing? I think, you know what? I really did enjoy working in the financial industry, being a banker. Mm -hmm. And I just love the whole professionalism of working in a bank and being a teller and stuff. So I'd probably be probably back in that area. Back, 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 in, yeah. back in banking? Yeah. How long did you do that? I did that all through college. So um, I could see you being a banker. You know? it was I, fun. I could see you. You're like really like put together suit type <laughs> of no, guy. Huh? I liked it. I liked being a teller, like doing all the, like, I was so fast counting money and stuff like that. So I, I loved it. So I can see myself back in there. Yeah. You can see back yeah. yourself and, and, and being good with that. It's, 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 it's a plus. I mean, I, I, do you, you think that that also helped you, you know, become, you know, the, the the person that you are today i think it did because as like a young student um learning in the banking you know learning about interest rates learning about how yeah. mortgage loans and everything works and all that stuff it kind of gave you me. a head start yeah it gave me a head sure. start and stuff especially in like planning for life and stuff like that so uh, seeing those numbers and being a part of that industry really did help me out angel do you charge your clients to have like set up an appointment let's say they're interested in buying or selling a house what we're seeing now is that there's a lot of agents that are starting to charge for those initial consultations. Is that something that you still do or is that something you don't do? No, that's something I've never done. To have okay. those conversations and stuff like that, no. No, no, no. Okay. It's always like free information and stuff where like that can, just to meet with people. Where's your office located? I mean, where do you where do you conduct the, the majority of your business? Majority of my business I do is in Chandler and I work out of my, my family's office and stuff, yeah. um, which is right in the heart of downtown Chandler. Yeah. Do you actually? Are you? I mean, and you say you 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 have the opportunity to work with them, right? So do you have you you, you do all those legal stuff in the, the? Oh yeah, I specialize in my office. I do all. I handle all the DACA cases and all the citizenship cases. So I take those hand in hand, and those are if you're doing those cases with me, you're working uh, one on one with me. So are you still doing that? Oh yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. I. I Never plan on leaving it. I love it. It's because I place. mean, I, and in me personally, obviously being Hispanic, uh, I, uh, I I I personally know a lot of people that are still you know need going through the process. Yeah, need that. So definitely, uh, so definitely, you know, what I mean, if they were to reach out to you, they don't not just only to for for real estate. You could also they could also reach out to you for other type of services. Oh yeah, well. absolutely. All of our consultations are free. Um, our office is called Consultas y Mas. Um, it's me, my mom, my sister that work together. My mom has been doing this type of work for about 30 years mm -hmm. and my sister and I joined her. Um, all of our consultations are free. If anyone has any questions regarding DACA, citizenship, residency, perdones, or just any questions they may have about their status or anything or rights that they may have here, yeah. feel free to give us a call and we'll definitely handle your case. If we can't help you out, we'll refer you out to any attorneys that we may have on hand or, you know, some consultants that we yeah, may know. I mean, and a lot of people right now, I mean, I, I, I hear that this administration has, you know, been, you know, favorable to people that are actually looking to, you know what I mean, either get DACAs or, you know, or even, you know, resident cars and things like that. I mean, I don't know if you guys help with all that, but mm -hmm. I hear that processes are moving along just fine. Uh, one more question. Now, two more questions, really. What did you think about our our Terramana Tequila? Te Terramana Nana? <laughs> Terramana. Terramana. Uh, what did you think about it? Uh, okay, like I told you, I'm not a huge tequila drinker, but that actually went down pretty smooth and pretty yeah. easy. I, I was, you know I like what? It. We're hoping that Dwayne Johnson, you know what I mean? We This is like our, our fourth bottle that we've been... Uh, <laughs> You know, enjoying Drinking on the show. <laughs> I, feel, I, I, feel, I feel like we should be. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess at least. Uh, I probably go through at least two bottles, at least a three shout bottles out from Dwayne Johnson. You know, say hey, you know what? These guys are going live on social media promoting. You know, your tequila. You did an amazing job with it. So definitely. And a lot of the people that drink it end up buying it afterwards. So honestly, I just feel like we need a share of the company at this point. <laughs> it's great. It's great. I, I, you know what? I like. I said I. I would be happy with at least a shout out, you know, yeah. shout out, send me a, send us a bottle of tequila. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> or a box. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, whatever your little heart desires, Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> so, uh, so definitely, I mean, 
Second question is obviously your, your your phone number again. You know, phone number, social medias. How do we get a hold of you? This guy is just, uh, como se dice, una cajita de, de, de sorpresas. <laughs> So yeah. de definitely busy man. Yeah, absolutely. You can reach me directly, like I said, at my cell phone at 480-678-0024 mm -hmm. or at my email at aencinasrealty at gmail.com, Instagram, Facebook, Angel Encinas. You can find me there. Awesome. Angel, thank you again so much for coming to our show. Again, everybody, make sure that if you're a Chandler resident, you show up and you vote for Angel for city council. I think he's going to do a lot of really, really great things. and. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Thank you very much, my man. Hey, Chandler, please show up for my my compadre, Angel Encinas. Yeah, thank you guys so much for having me here today. Of course. Have a good one.